Okay. I have my face drawing done. I'm going to call mine angry grandma and I have everything where I want it. I like how it looks. I'm going to come over here to my file up here in the top left corner and I am going to select that I want to download as a JPEG. That's like telling the computer that you want to save it as a photo. Once I have that done, I can go to my drive and I'm going to open up a new, remember I have to go to more to get my Google drawings. And I am going to insert that image, that picture that I just downloaded as a JPEG. So I'm going to upload it from my computer and I'm going to come down here past my color wheels to my angry grandma and I open it up and now I'm going to take that and I'm going to kind of shrink it because we're going to make a background with this image. So I can just start putting it in the corner. I'm going to go control C, control V to make those copy and pastes. And I'm going to do whoop. Use those red guidelines to help you know that you've got it all lined up. And once I have that row done, then I'm actually going to select them all and right click group that so that when I come here, whoop, I have to click it and do control C, control V again. Now I have that whole row. It saves me just a ton of time when I'm making it. And I have it where my whole background is my angry grandma's. Now, if I wanted to, I could come in here to this little format option up here at the top, and I could think about recoloring things. Uh, maybe I want to do almost like a rainbow going down. Because, you know, as the art teacher, you should have it be a rainbow, right? And there we go. So now I can come back over to my angry grandma picture and I'm going to get rid of my background for just a second. I'm going to select all of my face. I'm going to right click and group that. So now I can go control C, come over to my other drawing because they're both drawings and paste it. I oh, forgot to control C and control V. And there is my large angry grandma. And I can decide what size I want her to be and if I want her to the left or to the right or where I want it to be. Once I have that done and I like the way that it looks, I could go in here and I could go file, download as a JPEG. Now it's gonna be in there as an image again, as that photograph. So then I can go to my Google Classroom and I can upload that to Artstonia.